An equator of a rotating spheroid such as a planet is its zeroth circle of latitude parallel. It is the imaginary line on the spheroid's surface, equidistant from its poles, dividing it into northern and southern hemispheres. In other words, it is the intersection of the spheroid's surface with the plane perpendicular to its axis of rotation and midway between its geographical poles. On Earth, the equator is about 40,075 kilometers miles) long, of which 78.8% lies across water and 21.3% over land. Indonesia is the country straddling the greatest length of the equatorial line across both land and sea. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name is derived from medieval Latin word equator, in the phrase circulus equator diei et noctis, meaning circle equalizing day and night, from the Latin word aquar meaning make equal. Overview The latitude of the Earth's equator is, by definition, zero degrees, zero degrees of arc. The equator is one of the five notable circles of latitude on Earth, the other four are both polar circles the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle and both tropical circles the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The equator is the only line of latitude which is also a great circle—that is, one whose plane passes through the center of the globe. The plane of Earth's equator, when projected outwards to the celestial sphere, defines the celestial equator. In the cycle of Earth's seasons, the equatorial plane runs through the Sun twice per year, on the equinoxes in March and September. To a person on Earth, the Sun appears to travel above the equator or along the celestial equator at these times. Light rays from the Sun's center are perpendicular to Earth's surface at the point of solar noon on the equator. Locations on the equator experience the shortest sunrises and sunsets because the Sun's daily path is nearly perpendicular to the horizon for most of the year. The length of daylight sunrise to sunset is almost constant throughout the year, it is about 14 minutes longer than nighttime due to atmospheric refraction and the fact that sunrise begins or sunset ends as the upper limb, not the center, of the sun's disk contacts the horizon. Earth bulges slightly at the equator, the average. Diameter of Earth is 12,750 kilometers, 7,920 miles, but the diameter at the equator is about 43 kilometers, 27 miles, greater than at the poles. Sites near the equator, such as the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana, are good locations for spaceports as they have a faster rotational speed than other latitudes. The added velocity reduces the fuel needed to launch spacecraft. Since Earth rotates eastward, spacecraft must also be launched eastward if not, to the southeast or northeast to take advantage of this Earth boost of speed. Geodesy Precise location The precise location of the equator is not truly fixed, the true equatorial plane is perpendicular to the Earth's spin axis, which drifts about 9 meters 30 feet during a year. This effect must be accounted for in detailed geophysical measurements. <laughs> <laughs> exact length The International Association of Geodesy IAG and the International Astronomical Union IAU have chosen to use an equatorial radius of 6378.1366 kilometers 3963.1903 miles codified as the IAU 2009 value. This equatorial radius is also in the 2003 and 2010 IERS conventions. It is also the equatorial radius used for the IERS 2003 ellipsoid. If it were really circular, the length of the equator would then be exactly 2 pi times the radius, namely 40,075.0142 km miles. The GRS-80 Geodetic Reference System 1980 as approved and adopted by the IUGG at its Canberra, Australia meeting of 1979 has an equatorial radius of 6,378.137 km 
The WGS84 World Geodetic System 1984, which is a standard for use in cartography, geodesy, and satellite navigation including GPS, also has an equatorial radius of 6378.137 kilometers, 3963.191 miles. For both GRS-80 and WGS-84, this results in a length for the equator of 40,075.0167 km miles. The geographical mile is defined as one arc minute of the equator, so it has different values depending on which radius is assumed. For example, by WSG84, the, the distance is 1855.3248 meters, 6087.024 feet, while by IAU2000, it is 1855.3257 meters, 6087.027 feet. This is a difference of less than 1 mm in over the total distance approximately 1.86 km or 1.16 miles. The Earth is commonly modeled as a sphere flattened 0.336% along its axis. This makes the equator 0.16% longer than a meridian a great circle passing through the two poles. The IUGG standard meridian is, to the nearest millimeter, 40,007.862917 km miles, one arc minute of which is 1,852.216 m explaining the SI standardization of the nautical mile as 1,852 m more than 3 m meters 9.8 feet less than the geographical mile the sea level surface of the earth the geoid is irregular so the actual length of the equator is not so easy to determine aviation week and space technology on the 9th of october 1961 reported that measurements using the transit iva satellite had shown the equatorial diameter from longitude 11 degrees west to 169 degrees east to be 1000 feet 300 meters greater than its diameter 90 degrees away. Topic: <inaudible> Equatorial countries and territories. The equator passes through the land of 11 countries. Starting at the prime meridian and heading eastwards, the equator passes through. Despite its name, no part of Equatorial Guinea lies on the equator. However, its island of Anabon is 155 kilometers, 96 miles south of the equator, and the rest of the country lies to the north. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Equatorial seasons and climate. Seasons result from the tilt of the Earth's axis compared to the plane of its revolution around the sun. Throughout the year the northern and southern hemispheres are alternately turned either toward or away from the Sun depending on Earth's position in its orbit. The hemisphere turned toward the Sun receives more sunlight and is in summer, while the other hemisphere receives less Sun and is in winter see solstice. At the equinoxes, the Earth's axis is perpendicular to the Sun rather than tilted toward or away, meaning that day and night are both about 12 hours long across the whole of the Earth. The equator lies mostly on the three largest oceans, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Near the equator there is little temperature change throughout the year, though there may be dramatic differences in rainfall and humidity. The terms summer, autumn, winter and spring do not generally apply. Lowlands around the equator generally have a tropical rainforest climate, also known as an equatorial climate, though cold currents cause some regions to have tropical monsoon climates with a dry season in the middle of the year, and the Somali current generated by the Asian monsoon due to continental heating via the High Tibetan Plateau causes Greater Somalia to have an arid climate despite its equatorial location. Average annual temperatures in equatorial lowlands are around 31 degrees Celsius (88 degrees Fahrenheit) during the afternoon and 23 degrees Celsius (73 degrees Fahrenheit) around sunrise. Rainfall is very high away from cold current upwelling zones, from 2,500 to 3,500 mm (100 to 140 in) per year. There are about 200 rainy days per year, and average annual sunshine hours are around 2,000. 
Despite high year-round sea level temperatures, some higher altitudes such as the Andes and Mount Kilimanjaro have glaciers. The highest point on the equator is at the elevation of 4,690 meters (15,387 feet) at 0 degrees 0 minutes 0 seconds north, 77 degrees 59 minutes 31 seconds west, found on the southern slopes of Vulcan Kayamba summit, 5,790 meters (18,996 feet) in Ecuador. This is slightly above the snow line and is the only place on the equator where snow lies on the ground. At the equator the snow line is around 1,000 meters 3, feet lower than on Mount Everest and as much as 2,000 meters 6, feet lower than the highest snow line in the world, near the Tropic of Capricorn on Lulelaco. <laughs> Crossing the equator ceremonies Certain navies, such as the Royal Navy, Russian Navy, and U.S. Navy, have a tradition of holding ceremonies aboard ships to mark sailors' first crossing of the equator. These ceremonial events have in the past been notorious for their brutality. Milder line crossing ceremonies, typically featuring King Neptune, are also held for passengers' entertainment on some civilian ocean liners and cruise ships. <laughs> See also